Hey guys, and welcome to another episode with me, Nilo. And today we're going to be doing a quite a bit of things. One of the biggest things we're going to first talk about is these guys right behind me. Now, as you can see, my industrial cooker does not look all jacked up like it used to. And we get the beer barrel, which is I'm super excited about. As you can see, I threw some berries into here, got some thatch going, and I made some water jars. So we go ahead and put these guys in here. And it's supposed to make a certain amount of beer, basically, off of the barrels that we have. And it's supposed to make certain parts of it. So it's supposed to make to a certain X amount with thatch, berries, and water in this. So we have it hooked up to an irrigation. And because this beer barrel, I was able to go ahead and get this guy fixed. And we had some little additions. So I made a little, little drinking fountain right here in the ground. That way I can fill up inside here. Instead of having to jump out there to get water. Uh, so what I did was with this bear barrel, I was able to place it down without the irrigation system needed to be in place first. Which is unfortunately the change that they made for this. So guys, if y'all are having issues with this, this solved my problem immediately. I brought it down and I made it just basically into a split and then to a four-way. And then from there I put a four-way right here. And then just brought it straight back up as well. So I went ahead and did the same process. And then once I did that, it just fit right into the ground seamlessly. So now I have this nice little addition right here. In addition to that, I also was able to go ahead and pull a little straight bar over here. That way I can have a little drinking fountain. I wanted one inside, but I just haven't had a chance to. And how that was jacked up, it just wasn't working out. So this is awesome. My, my place looks a lot more organized. In addition to that, we've also had some new changes, not only with the new additions to it, but these guys, as you can see, there's storage that's up to 45 now versus the 30 before. It was honestly, in my opinion, way too small. It was so easy with all the items you get in here to fill up immediately. And yes, I've been cra collecting quite a bit of poop and well, I'll go ahead and show you. The reason by being we are going to be looking to do some dung beetles later on today. Dung beetles are a little unique. You do have to get them. Uh, you do have to get them actually aggroed to you, which is a little bit different for a passive tame. So normally, passive tames you don't want them to be aggroed. But with the dung beetles, we are going to. You have to exhaust them. Is the first step. Second step: once they are exhausted, you can walk up and feed. And then thirdly, once you feed them, they have all that power again. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited. Uh, they have all that power again to stamina and everything else to chase you down again. So then you chase them. So it's definitely a little bit different. They're found in caves. So we do have to get into the cave. And supposedly they are found around the water portion of the caves. And so that's going to be a little bit different. Because those are normally a little bit deeper into the caves themselves. And then to pull them out. So we're going to have them possibly chase us out. The I have read two things. I've read that the bug repellent does help. Uh, but since you have to aggro them you first, you know, it doesn't necessarily help. So I've read both things where it just doesn't help at all. Sometimes it helps with everything. I don't know. We're going to bring some. We'll see how it goes without it first. We'll make an adjustment from there. So I'm super excited, guys. We're going to get some dung beetles for our place. And I've been waiting for them as well. Uh, kind of a bug nerd as well on a personal level. And dung beetles just do so much and they're actually really great for the uh the cattle business which is surprising uh but moving forward let's go ahead and get these dung beetles and yeah we're right back all right guys and we're back and i went ahead and down below we are in the cave next to the volcano there is a little scared beetle that i'm trying to pull up to the surface and he is a level, or she is level 100. I accidentally killed a 28, and which makes me sad. So are you... All right. So I think he might be out of stamina. So let me put you on passive so you don't kill it. All right. Are you? Feed large species. And he's angry again. Yep, there you go. All right, so we are slowly taking him up. That was the first... Uh, piece of poop <laughs> that I was able to feed him or her I don't know so we we're gonna try to clear out everything going up and it is taking a little while but this is supposedly the taming process for him so just gotta wait for him to run out of stamina 
Yeah, the fun, the pleasure of it all. All right, so he is out of stamina again. We are going to, their stamina is so small. He looks pretty cool. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Ah, shield, shield. All right, so I was completely full there. Jump over, jump over. There we go. All right. No, Crystal. Ugh. All right, guys. I apologize. I may not be the best at this stuff, <laughs> but we're going to get him. All right. So don't do that. This is now a training video of what not to do. All right. So we're going to go down to check him out because he didn't really walk that far from where we actually found him. I think he might have walked around in circles while I was killing everything. See that over here? Hey, hey, buddy. Nope, nope. You, you're still moving. You're still moving. Oh, that's creepy. Okay. Maybe. Ah! All right. Thank goodness for this lovely shield. And back on the battle run. So you're supposed to just walk around in circles, but I wanted to get him closer to the top. Just because I don't want to deal with respawns, I just came through and cleared everything out, which is a lot surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. Now, I've already tried. You can't actually pick them up. That's how, actually how I got the lower one killed accidentally. Make sure you are on passive. Yep. Maybe we can sneak up behind. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Are you hungry yet? No. Come on, buddy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get him back up to the top, and I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, and we're coming up on the last little bit of poop to feed this guy. And the secret, and I brought him up to the almost to the very top. There's a little spawn area right here, but long story short, you got to come up behind him, just kind of like a monkey. And I kind of I kind of get really up in him. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this is so exciting. I, I live in the south. Oil is... is Poop is easy to come by. Oil is not. And so I'm super excited. The fertilizer, I hate putting the thatch in there. I really do. I'm so excited for this guy. Oh, yes. All right. So they covered in poop. Oil bleep by products. Yes. All right. Cool. Ooh, a name. I'm never good with these names, guys. If y'all have a good name for these guys, um, you know what? Just because I keep thinking of Dunk from uh, Dunk and Egg, George R. R. Martin's a really favorite author of mine he is not really tall or anything like that but you know dung dunk all right gender na so we can't breed him 148 oh that's what a nice level all right all right so the weight is what i've been advised you have to put this on them and that's the way you go ahead and they start the byproduct and then you have to have them wondering i believe and then he starts processing the stuff he'll turn it into that but we don't necessarily need that right now and awesome i'm gonna try to possibly go back and get more but yeah you're on follow all right guys i will we'll see you back in a little bit we got beer brewing we got dung beetles coming alive and yeah actually just check out the stats his health is really high surprisingly i'm pretty sure he'll get the bonus armor can turn fecal matter into oil and compass but only when wondering so that's pretty cool uh, weight is super low, and that's what I was advised. You need to level up the most. Movement speed. I figured the stamina would have been a little bit lower, but eh, I'm not going to complain. All right, perfect, guys. I will be back in a little bit. Hey, guys, we're back, and right now we got a little new addition here. Look at this little buddy. Look at him. Look how cute he is. Actually, I love these little dung beetles, and we got more than one. We got three. So we got the original one uh, dunk here. And then we also have another dung beetle back here. There's another dung beetle back there. So we went back in to get two more. I had to wait around for a couple. We actually waited around for quite a time. But yeah, they're so awesome. And you can see that they don't hold much weight. Just going through here. And like 7.3, I've doubled them up a couple. But we need them at least eight. And the reason why you need eight is that way you can put two of these on here. Keep them in wondering status, which is pretty awesome. I mean, they just kind of sit around. And we've been around for a while. 
So th this is our haul. You get three fertilizer per large one, and you also get six oil, which is pretty awesome. So uh, small, you get one fertilizer and two oil. Medium, you get two fertilizer and four oil, and then six oil for the large. So it's pretty cool. It's not a great oil resource, but it's a wonderful fertilizer resource. I mean, that's literally so much better than those little compost there. Now, you might be looking, well, why did you build a cage all the way out here and in the middle of nowhere? And, well, the reason being for that, and they're also too high, these guys kept getting out. I originally had them set up over there by our bat, set up and ready to go. We'll just keep them right there, one high. That should do it. These guys kept getting out. So what I've ended up doing is going ahead and making sure that this is not touching anything on the ground. Now I've noticed they don't jump off a basically a platform that they can't walk on. Climb down. Climb down. I hate ladders in the game, by the way. There you go. Close. And jump. So as you can see, it is completely standalone. Nothing touching it. Nothing at all affecting it. They can fall through the trap letter, trap letter, or the uh, through the trap door area if. The door is open so make sure to close it but for right now there seems to be quite a bit of issues in retrospect of this so I tried originally oop. oh yeah some more oil so I, I tried originally to make like a little catwalk but even that even the catwalk they'll try to walk on and try to get out so you can see them trying to get out right now and as long as they have something that they can basically walk on They'll avoid the cage altogether. So this is the best way to build a cage and for right now as we said and oh looks pretty cool. So and I'm just gonna go ahead and stack up on fertilizer. I got fertilizer for days now. And so I mean th these guys are gonna be primarily what you want to use whenever you are uh, sitting around and you have tons of species axes and you want to constantly fill up on them. You get a couple of these guys and honestly, for me actually playing around with them, harvesting, probably about 20 minutes, I was able to get all that. So I mean, if you just did it passively, just checked on it, filled them back up, came back, filled them back up, especially if you get, I've only been able to do one at a time, just one. And so that is primarily like, I, that astonishes me. You get a couple levels on them, you just constantly fill it up with weight. So you can go ahead and put all types of feces or whatever you want in them. You're good to go. Now, to get them out of the cave, I had to borrow an Argentavis for here. This is the drum Renards. And pulling them out of the out of the actual cave itself is near impossible unless they're aggroed. They walk so slow, their pathing is all jacked up to no end. Grab an Argentavis, fly down, pick them up, take them out of the cave, and it's so much easier. So much easier. You can tame them out inside the cave. You can just fly down real fast, pick them up, swoop them out of all the danger. I had killed a 28 one already. And it, yeah. So, I mean, just go ahead, do that. It'll be the easiest. You can fly down with an Argentavius and you'll be good to go. As well, here, just real fast. Yeah, I was able to block up this little hole. I know no one else cares, but I care so much. I hated that hole. But yeah, these guys are ready set and ready to go for this so I'm super excited and also another way to know if they're done actually with this stuff you can just easily check their weight once it's dropped down to nothing it's good to go but guys I definitely appreciate y'all watching today I mean if you like the video by all means why am I holding an axe like the video and as well you know guys if you want to see more what's going on uh, please by all means subscribe check out my other plays um, or my playlist but guys, as always, I do appreciate y'all watching. Once again, I'll catch you next time, guys. <laughs> Bye.